Good day. So we are back on our uh, lecture video, and uh, for today's video, we are going to talk about geometric sequence, and our focus would be the formula, the nth term, and also the. Sempre we have examples. So consider the given sequence. 2, 6, 18, 54, and so on. So, what we learned from the previous video is that we can find the common ratio by simply dividing any term uh, by its preceding term. So, let's do that here. So, if we divide 6 by 2, we get a positive 3. If we divide 18 by 6, we get a positive 3. And if we divide 54 by 18, we get a positive 3 which which means that our common ratio is positive 3 so what if you are asked to find the 20th term 50th term I know it's easy all we have to do is to continue the sequence multiplying 2 times 3 is 6 6 times 3 is 18 18 times 3 is 54 54 times 3 is 160 162 so and so on until we reach what term we are supposed to look for but let's derive a formula using this example so same thing we did with arithmetic sequence what if or i should say let's um let's represent the first term a sub 1 which is equal to 2 okay and then a sub 2 we know it's equal to 6 but how did we get uh, 6 we have to multiply 2 times the common ratio of 3 same goes with the third term we have 2 since to get 18 we multiply 2 times 3 which is 6 and then we multiply it again by 3 to get 18 for the fourth term we have the first term 2 times 3 times 3 and to get 54 we multiply it again by 3 which means that if we would like to continue this to the fifth term, all we need to do is to multiply the first term again. So let's write it here. The first term times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So if we write this in an exponential form, let's see how it looks like. And let's start from a sub 5. So a sub 5 is 2 times 3 raised to the fourth power. a sub 4 is 2 times 3 raised to the third power a sub 3 is 2 times 3 to the second power a sub 1 or the first term is 2 times 3 to the first power and a sub 1 is simply 2 actually it's 2 times 3 to the 0 power and we know that uh, anything any non-zero number raised to 0 is always equal to 1 so 2 times 1 gives us a 2 let's continue analyzing the problem Okay, so what if we are asked to find a sub n? So what is a sub n? Alright, so let's analyze further the pattern that we have so far. We have a sub 5 right here, right here. So let's proceed. What if we are going to find a sub 6? a sub 6 can be obtained by simply multiplying 2 times i'm going to use the dot as a symbol for multiplication 2 times 3 raised to based from the pattern we have 0 1 2 3 4 and now this is b raised to 5 so in order for to find in order for us to find a sub 6 we just have to multiply 2 times 3 raised to the fifth power so applying that pattern um, to get a sub 6 let's go on with a sub n so a sub n is equal to so what we know so far is that this 2 is actually our first term so we can say that it's the first term times and we also uh, know that our common ratio and this 3 actually came from the common ratio so our uh, we can uh, denote that 3 as r okay and then if we analyze further and if you look this 5 is actually represented by 
6 minus 1. In that case, we can say that to get the formula, it's raised to n minus 1. So from 6 minus 1. Okay, so that's the formula for us to find the nth term of a geometric sequence. Alright, so a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, wherein a sub n is our nth term or the last term. a sub 1 is our first term. And r is the common ratio. Common ratio, oops. And uh, n here is the number of terms. So the formula is right here. Okay? So let's have examples on how to apply this formula. Okay, let's have an example. Find the seventh term of the given geometric sequence 3, 9, 27, 81, and so on. So first of all, we list down what we have from the given. And what we have from the given is that the first term, a sub 1, is equal to 3. The common ratio is 3. So how did we get the common ratio 3? Remember from um, our previous lesson, we just have to divide any term from its preceding term. So that means 9 divided by 3 gives us a 3. Then 27 divided by 9 is equal to 3. And 81 divided by 27 is equal to 3, which tells us that the common ratio for this geometric sequence is positive 3. Okay, so we have n is equal to 7 because we are looking for the 7th term, meaning 7th term is our last term. And we are looking for a sub n or a sub 7. So let's start. Let's plug the given in he this given formula. So take note, ha, a sub n is our last term, or I should say um, nth term. a sub n is our nth term. That's what we are looking for. a sub 1 is the first term. r is the ratio. And n is the number of terms. So let's start. We are supposed to look for a sub 7, which is equal to a sub 1, which is 3, times the common ratio of 3 raised to 7 minus 1. In this lesson, you really have to use your calculator, or if you want to do it manually, it's fine. But since we have the calculator, why not use it? So, a sub 7, or the 7th term, is 3 times 3 to the 6, which is basically the same as 3 raised to 7. And 3 raised to 7 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 7 times by itself so it's equal to 2187 so the seventh term is 2187 okay so let's have example number two example number two what is the twelfth term of the geometric sequence 1 2 4 8 16 and so on so same procedure, let us list down our given and based from the given, a sub 1 is equal to 1. What do you think is the common ratio here? Again, to find the common ratio, divide any term by its preceding term. So 2 divided by 1 is 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 16 divided by 8 is 2, which implies that our common ratio is 2. And since we are looking for the 12th term, therefore there are 12 terms and let us now find a sub n or a sub 12. So again, substitute to the given formula or to the formula of the geometric sequence, we have a sub 12 is equal to first term which is 1 times the common ratio of 2 raised to 12 minus 1. So simplifying the equation, we're going to have 1 times 2 raised to 11th power. And 2 raised to the 11th power is equal to 2048. So the 12th term for this given geometric sequence is 2048. 
2048. Okay, one more example. Okay, so let's go with example number three. So example number three. Determine the 10th term of the geometric sequence negative 120, 60, negative 30, and then 15. So the if you notice the geometric sequence is um, value is kind of decreasing, so which means that our ratio is a fraction. So let's try let's look for it. So listing down, sorry. So listing down our given we have the first term which is equal to negative 120. Our common ratio can be obtained by dividing 60 divided by negative 120 which will give us a negative fraction of one half, negative one half. If we divide negative 30 by 60, we will obtain the same answer, negative one half. And lastly, 15 divided by negative 30 gives us a negative one half which tells us that our common ratio is negative one half since we're looking for the tenth term our n is 10 so a sub n is basically looking for a sub 10 so let's look for a sub 10 by substituting our values from the formula to the for in the formula by substituting the values to our formula so we have a sub 10 is equal to the first term negative 120 times the common ratio of negative one half raised to 10 minus 1 so as I have said um, it's better if you have your calculator with you because this is um, already a very small amount of number so with that I'm going to turn on my calculator in a while okay so let's put our calculator right here okay so um, since we are to multiply a negative 120 so negative 120 times the fraction 1 over 2 all right oh I forgot the parentheses so you need to use the proper parentheses well and then raise to raise to 10 minus 1 which is equal to 9 and let's press the equal sign so the answer for our a sub 10 is equal to negative 15 over 64. So the 10th term for this um, geometric sequence is a fraction negative 15 over 64. Okay, so as always, um, I'm gonna, going to leave you a challenge question right here for you to answer and then put your answers in the comments down below. And I hope you learned something from today's video. And I'm going to see you on the next video. Oh, wait. The challenge question is, find the eighth term of the geometric sequence whose first term is 100 and has a common ratio of 1 half. So I'm going to see you all in the next video. And uh, peace.